Today, we're gonna be trying out and showing you guys some Varro TikTok photo hacks. Honestly, these photo hacks are very, very cool. So if so this photo hack right here will actually make it look like you're holding stars. Here's the video right here. And if done correctly, it should turn out like that. So as you guys can tell, we've done this hack before, but this time we're gonna go into a little more detail on how you do it. Step one, you're gonna need to sprinkle some water in the mirror like this. That should be good. And step two, you wanna take your phone and open up the camera. And you're gonna to wanna to do it with these settings right here. So obviously you turn on the camera, you wanna put the flash on, and then you click right here, around like the center of the photo, you just hold on to this until you see that little sun emoji right there pop up. And what you wanna do with that is you wanna drag this all the way down, right here, not completely all the way down, but just until it's dark, like this. And you place your hand where you wanna hold the stars in the picture. And if done correctly, oh my gosh, if I wasn't in the back, that would be good. I'm in the back of this. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Let me get out of frame. Do it again. Do it again. Obviously, you might not get it perfect the first time, so we're going to do it again and show you guys. Because this one is probably going to take a few tries to get it perfect. Right here, like we mentioned, the flash on. And drag this setting right here, the brightness, all the way down until it's dark. And then place your hand like this. And just like that, now it looks like you're holding stars. Obviously this part's cropped out of the picture, but uh, if you see this part, then that's pretty much how it's gonna look like. So obviously it's gonna take a few tries to get it to look perfect. Even though we've done this before, it still took us a few tries. And with the right amount of practice, your picture should come out looking good. Okay, so for the next photo hack, it's gonna be this picture right here. And we have a pretty good idea how this one is taken. Obviously need like a mirror to start with and a camera, and it'll actually be easier just to show you guys. Uh, let's do it, here we go. So. He's, you're gonna be laying right there. This is how I think it's done, actually. And I'll be taking a picture for you. So you have to face the mirror towards the camera like this. And you, the person laying down has to look at the camera like this. Oh my gosh, this looks good. Wait, this is actually how it's done. Okay, so here's how the picture turned out. And it actually turned out a lot better than expected, didn't it? I love it. It's I great. I do too. That's, I, I'm definitely posting that picture. I'm posting it. What do you mean? I get to... Okay, fine. If you don't mind getting a little bit messy, then I highly recommend trying this one out okay so this is the next cool photo hack that we're gonna be showing you guys so it's kind of like the last flower one we took except this one's a little more simple all you really need is someone helping you out taking the picture for you and someone kind of like holding your hand as well it's probably a lot easier to show you guys as well like we did and yeah this is how it's done here we go we're gonna have to do the limbo here it's, it's kind of like a trust fall you have yeah, to trust exactly. the person okay. don't do this with someone you don't trust did you gain weight you're a lot heavier you're so heavy now okay, let's just take the picture gosh here we go I feel like I'm levitating. Look at this. <laughs> I'm literally levitating. Look at these. This is pretty cool. Yeah. But as you guys can see, that was very, very simple to do. All you need is a friend and some flowers. Okay, so for this photo hack right here, for you to look like you're on an airplane, all you need is something that looks like a airplane window, and we went with a toilet seat, which is probably the easiest one that you can get your hands on. And the next thing you do is pull up a video of a window view of an airplane, and with these two things combined, you should be able to fool your friends that you're going on a tropical vacation. Here we go, look at that. Wow. So for this hack right here, all you need are some glasses and a spray bottle. And here's the video right here. Okay, so it looks like you spray the glasses with the water and then you bring your phone to the glasses with the, where the water is at and it should create like a really cool like filter. Huh? Yeah, that's really cool. You want to, yeah, let's try it out. First step is spray the glasses with water. So you want to spray both of the frames and that should be good. Okay, here we go. Oh, it already looks kind of good. Okay, I just have to get it to focus. There we go. Look at that, this looks kind of cool. It does. So yeah. These actually turn look up. Look at some of these. I'm not, I don't know if you guys can see the droplets, but they actually look kind of cool. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's cool. And yeah, that was definitely a success. Okay, so for this one, we're gonna be showing you guys a really cool illusion picture where it looks like you're eating a friend. Because it is an optical illusion, angles are really important for this picture. So I'm gonna be the one being eaten by him because he's fatter than me. So it makes sense. And basically what you need to do is, you need to be laying on the ground and we'll just show you guys how it works. So um, you want to be about 12 feet apart. Whoever's going to be eating the person needs to be laying on the ground like this. So once you get the positioning down, um, you're going to want to hold your hand out like you're holding him and uh, open your mouth like you're about to eat him. So uh, here we go. Did we get it? 
Hey, we got it, right? I don't catch that crap. That was pretty good. And so all it really is is just a matter of angle. And yeah, so after a little bit of practice, your picture should come out like this. Okay, so for this next picture right here, it's actually a lot easier than it seems. I actually know how to do this one, so um, we just need to find a ledge somewhere. So would this sidewalk work? No, wait, I think I think it has to be a little bit higher. Oh, that right there. Okay, let's right go. There. Let's try it that one. One foot is over the edge, and the other foot is like half the foot over the edge. Okay, here we go. Look at this. This wait. is very hard to keep balance. Three, two, one. Yeah, just, just like that. Perfect. I think we got it. Just like that. I think we got it. Look at this. It's hard. It's hard. Yeah, it looks like he's levitating. I had to take these pictures upside down. Oh my gosh. Look. These look kind of cool. It looks like I'm levitating. Yeah, it looks, it looks like he's levitating, does it not? You guys tell me it doesn't look like he's levitating. It does. So that one was a little bit harder, not gonna lie. All you need is some good balance and just somewhere where you can like step off like you're off a ledge just to give off the illusion that you're floating in the sky. So I would recommend trying this one out as well. So as you guys can tell, I've been getting a lot more flexible. This is some type of contortion I taught myself. You know, like I taught, Whoa, Sean, you're not, you're not supposed to show that. You weren't supposed to show that. We want we wanted people to actually think that he was flexible, okay? Like, there was no point in doing that. I, I, I can't breathe. <laughs> okay, so this one actually leads us to the next photo hack right here. Um, so it's another kind of illusion. All you're gonna need is just to borrow a friend's leg. That way you can make it seem like it's your own legs that is that flexible. But basically, it's, a, it's just a matter of angle to make it seem like those are your legs. I think it might be easier just to show you guys how it's set up like. So you get on the ground, lay on your stomach. So the first person just lays on his stomach like this. Okay, so the second person lays on him like this. Basically, my head like this, opposite direction, right? This also works a lot better downhill. And with the right angle, you can trick your friends into thinking you're super flexible. So this photo hack right here is definitely the hardest to do, but if you can pull it off, it'll definitely be the most viral one. So all you're gonna need for this one is a see-through glass. Um, I'm not sure like what exactly this is, but this is definitely like a see-through glass, right? So you want like chairs or something that can hold the glass because the person that's getting their picture taken wants to end up underneath the glass table like this. And look at that. You can now watch videos off of your phone without touching it. And uh, what video are you watching, Alan? I am watching one of our YouTube videos. That's a good choice. That's a very good choice. Very rich taste. <laughs> what is wrong with you? <laughs> okay, so to give off the really chilled and ice effect, you're actually gonna need some ice right here. And what you're gonna wanna do with this ice is you're gonna wanna sprinkle the ice on top of this. Here we go. I'm gonna break it up really quick. Oh my gosh. Wait, Alex, are you okay? No, I'm not. Wait, really? What, why did he use his head? Wait, he's actually not okay. Alex! Stop. <laughs> I'm not joking, yeah. that hurts. Be careful when you put the ice on because you don't want to break the glass. Ooh, look at that. Ooh. It already looks like he's- Frozen. Yeah, it already looks like that. The table's freezing, look at this. Oh, my hands. So the next step that you wanna do is you wanna create a little bit of opening to where you can see his face. That's so cool because like, it's kind of giving off the frosted effect because obviously ice is really cold. It's kind of transferring like a frost effect to the glass. Yeah, it actually looks like it's the winter time now. There we go, an opening like this. But it keeps sliding back. Oh, this looks pretty good. Three, two, and one. That looks kind of cool. Let me take it off the camera now. Oh, I like this. I like this right here. Oh my gosh, this is pretty cool. Look at this. I love this. I don't know if you guys can see, but this looks really cool. And there we go. That should be great. That is perfect. Yeah, be careful so you don't hit the glass. Ah, look at that. How do you feel, Alan? Do you have any oh, frostbite? Yeah. I mean, it was worth it for the picture. Like we mentioned, it was a little bit difficult, but when done right, it is definitely one of our favorites. And I would say it is the best photo hack. So this final